you believe it's already the end of the month? We've been talking about how we can gear up with kindness. Raise your hand if you need some help sometimes showing kindness. Me too. I'm so glad to know I don't have to do it alone. God is always there to help. And God is the one who shows us what real kindness is in the first place. Remember, kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Each person is valuable and special because each person is made in the image of God. We should show others how much they matter with our words and our actions. We should be kind to them. Turn to the person next to you and tell them you are valuable. Now, turn to someone else around you and tell them God loves you. Yes, exactly. It's pretty cool to think about how God made each of us and everything we see. One of my favorite ways to remember how God made everything is to look up at the stars. Oh, it's worship time. Let's praise Jesus together. Hi friends, we've had a great time here at IES Kids Church talking about kindness. And today, we have another story of kindness to look at from the Bible. This is a story called as a parable that Jesus himself told. One day, while Jesus was teaching, a religious expert stood up to ask him a question. Teacher, 
he asked. What must I do to receive eternal life? What is written in the law? Jesus replied. How do you understand it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do that and you will live. But that's not all. The expert wanted to make himself look super smart. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Do you know how Jesus answered? He answered by telling him a story. Jesus' story began with a man who was walking from the city of Jerusalem to the city of Jericho, when suddenly robbers attacked him. The robbers took everything the man had and beat him up. The robbers left this poor man on the side of the road, badly injured. But then a priest came walking down the road. This was a religious man who followed God. Surely he would stop and help. But no, the priest crossed to the other side of the street and walked on by. Then another man walked by. This was a Levite, another man who worshipped God. Do you think he helped? He did not. He walked right on by. This poor injured man, surely someone would stop and help him. Well, the next person who came by was a Samaritan. This would have surprised people listening to Jesus' story because at that time, everyone knew that Jewish people and Samaritans didn't get along. The people wouldn't have expected a Samaritan to stop and help the man who was injured. The Samaritan saw the injured man, and he stopped to help. The Samaritan put medicine on the man's wounds and wrapped them in clean bandages. Then the Samaritan put the man on his own donkey. The Samaritan took the injured man to an inn. The next day, when he had to leave, he even paid two silver coins to the innkeeper and asked him to continue to take care of the injured man. The Samaritan even promised the innkeeper that he would pay anything extra when he came back. Remember, Jesus was telling this story to the law expert who had asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus spoke directly to the law expert and ask him a question. Which of the three do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? You tell me. Who was a neighbor to the hurt man? Was it the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Definitely the Samaritan. Jesus told the law expert, go and do as he did. Jesus made it very clear in the story he told that day. A neighbor isn't just someone who lives close by, who looks like you, or who has the same thoughts and opinions as you do. A neighbor is anyone who needs our help or kindness. So this is a great challenge for us today. It's a big part of kindness. Be kind to people who are different from you. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that. Dear God, we are amazed by the story Jesus told about the Good Samaritan. It's easy for us to be kind to people who are a lot like us, but real kindness means that we should be kind to everyone, especially to those people who may think, look, or act differently than we do. Help us, Lord, to show your love and kindness to everyone we meet. Help us to see the people in our lives who need a little extra kindness. We love you, and we pray all of these in Jesus' name. Amen. It's pop quiz time. I'll ask you some questions, and you can shout out loud the correct answer based on the Bible story you just heard. Are you ready? Okay, question number one. 
Who attacks the man who is walking from the city of Jerusalem to the city of Jericho? Was it robbers? Was it soldiers? Or was it ninjas? Yes, robbers attacked the man who was walking from the city of Jerusalem to the city of Jericho. Oh no! Question number two. Who ignored the wounded man? The pastor and the pope? The priest and the Levite? Or the prophet and the apostle? You got it! The priest and the Levite ignored the wounded man. Last question. Who helps in the man? Was it the Spanish man? Was it the Samaritan? Or was it the Sri Lankan? The Samaritan helps the man. That's right! You all did it! Thanks for playing pop quiz with me! Hi IES kids, it's great to be here again. Let's read the memory verse of this month together. You are God's choosing people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud, be gentle and patient. Colossians 3 verse 12. Great, let's read together one more time. You are God choosing people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud, be gentle and patient. Colossians 3, verse 12. The author is first was writing to all the people who love God. That includes you. He was giving us a receipt to spread God's love and kindness to others. When you choose to be kind, gentle and patient, even when things are hard, when things feel difficult or unfair, it's important to remember that God is with you. God's Spirit lives inside you, giving you strength to keep being kind. So let's make it our mission to show God kindness to everyone. No matter how different they may be from us, you can be kind to people who are different from you every day. Always remember this, I yes kids. The Good Samaritan helped the man who got attacked by robbers. The man was given a medical treatment. That is why today we are going to draw a first aid kit box. But before we start, we need to prepare these things. A piece of paper, black crayon and marker, and some coloring tools. I give you time to get them now. Did you get everything you need? Great! Later, when you feel the video is too fast for you, don't worry. Just pause, do your drawing, and press play again to continue the tutorial. Come, let's get started. Just the facts of you and me. We don't see anything identically. But now I think it's 
We walk across these lines. You don't look like me, don't act like me, don't don't even think a thought like me. But you matter to me definitely. Definitely. It don't matter. Cause you matter. Kindness fits everybody. Everybody wants kindness. Kindness serves everybody. Everybody needs kindness. Kindness fits everybody. Everybody wants kindness. Kindness serves everybody. Everybody needs kindness. Of all the people who saw the hurt man on the side of the road, who acted like a good neighbor and showed him kindness? Yes, the Samaritan. Not the people who were like that man, who were Jewish and from the same area. Nope, the one who was completely different. In Jesus' story, the Samaritan helped the man in need even though there was nothing in it for him. How many of you have friends who go to a different school or church? I can see some of your hands. How many of your friends play a different sport or instrument? Do you have friends who speak a different language or come from a different culture than you? Raise your hand if it's you. We have lots of opportunities to be kind to people who are different from us, sharing things we love, learning skills together, encouraging them if they are new to our area or language. IES kids, remember that you can show kindness to everyone. Have a great week. Thank you.